Are you like me and every time you sit down for a smoke sesh, you like to use nice clean glass so you don't have to worry about things like mold or bacteria or leftover flavors from your previous sesh and your current sesh? Or are you just raw dogging life with dirty glass and you can't be bothered to spend the two minutes it takes to clean up your piece to make your smoke sesh like a hundred times more enjoyable? Clean glass is something I'm pretty passionate about and I think it makes your smoke sesh so much better to use a fresh clean piece. I like to use clean glass every time I sesh. We go live on Twitch at 9 p.m. Eastern for smoke seshes and I typically clean my glass bong and my glass rig that I'm gonna use maybe a couple rigs right before the sesh. I usually clean my pieces every day. If you clean your glass every day, it takes way less time. But I'm here with a few things that might help you speed up the process and help you keep your rig clean. So one thing that you can get right now that's going to help you make your cleaning a lot easier is get yourself a spray bottle with ISO. It doesn't have to be one like this that came with ISO in it. I actually bought this maybe a couple years ago and I've just been refilling it with isopropyl. But any spray bottle can help you use less ISO and get more out of it. Typically when I clean my rigs, I just spray a little bit in there. Usually when I pour it, I pour way more than I need. But these spray bottles, I just do 10 or 15 little sprays and it's the tiniest little amount in there. I can actually spray it in from different ends and help me keep everything clean. But when I started using one of these, I started using way less alcohol and my pieces are getting way more clean. So for a dab rig, sure, you can collect a reclaim. You can get things like reclaim catchers, attachments. I've seen rigs that have a reclaim catch built in, but I personally don't fuck with reclaim. I don't collect it. I don't use it. I throw it away if I have any collected in my piece. It's just not for me. There's people out there that have the highest quality quality reclaim. They're growing living organic soil. They're making live hash raws and they're pressing the best stuff you've ever seen. And when they dab, they have some really nice reclaim left over. But you know what? If you put all that time and effort into growing it, sure, use it. But for me, I'd rather just have a clean piece every day and not have to worry about putting a reclaim catcher on there and letting it build up over a week or two so I can use it. I don't dab that much to where I'm going to get like a grammar reclaim per day or something like that. But cleaning the piece every day ensures for a, a really nice sesh and it makes it easier to clean. If you're one of those people that waits months and months and months to clean your dab rig or clean your bong, it's way, way, way harder to clean because you waited so long. Cleaning it every day makes it take almost no time. It, it literally takes me like two minutes to clean this. Also, when I clean my pieces every day, I really don't use salt. Salt can help you scrub things off the surface, but if you clean it every day, you really don't need that additional scrubbing. It'll just slow you down and now you're using an extra material that you really didn't need. If something's super dirty, if there's a lot of buildup for weeks or months, salt's gonna help you tremendously. But if you're doing it every day, you can skip the salt. Another thing I want to talk about is a lot of people end up using a quartz banger. So I just want to mention some of the things I do to keep this clean. I only do cold starts and I don't use isopropyl every time when I wipe my nail. When there's a little puddle left over, I use a dry Q-tip to remove all the residual. And I never over torch it so I'm not burning anything on. With cold starts, you're always torching it perfectly or under torching it a little bit. You're never burning anything onto the nail. When you do hot start dabs, you can wipe with ISO every time because you're going to torch off all the ISO again before you put your dab on. But with cold starts, you're putting the dab on cold glass. So if you just wiped it with ISO, it's not going to be a very good dab. So I usually dry Q-tip my leftover puddle. And then maybe every four or five days, maybe every week, do I just spray out this nail and clean it. It really doesn't get that bad. I do a lot of dabs off the Puffco, but when I do more and more dabs off of this, sometimes I just get a little Q-tip. The ones with the wood sticks are nice, but I really like the paper stick ones like this because they're really bendy. You can kind of just get them into little little holes. You can push it all the way down into a nail, something like this. You can't really do that with the wood sticks. So the paper sticks are really good. I was getting the Q-tip brand, but I got the CVS store brand because the little cotton swab part is really tight on here. And I prefer that. It's similar to like the way glob mops do it and stuff like this. These are pretty good. So another thing you want to think about is if you put too big of a dab in your nail or you pull on your dab too hard, you're going to get more pulled down into the stem. When it gets down into here, this kind of stuff can get affected by the heat. And if you don't, clean it out it will start to build up and get nasty in there so there's a few ways to clean your nail you could just wipe it out sometimes i'll just spray it a little bit with iso and then just leave it in a small ziploc bag with maybe a few other things like a dab tool or some stuff that i need clean but seriously keep your glass clean nothing makes a sesh better than perfectly clean glass using nasty old glass really ruins your sesh don't let your laziness ruin your smoke seshes stoners aren't lazy we're productive we clean our pieces and then get high one other thing i want to mention that helps 
me keep my glass clean is I got these little alcohol wipes. I've had a few different brands. I think I have one of the other brands in here, but I've been using these little alcohol wipes. Some of them are 70%. Some of them are, I think these ones are 99%. These are really handy. They help me clean up my dab tool. They help me clean up the outside. Sometimes you just get little spots or reclaim or something on the outside. And a little wipe really does a good job of getting everything clean. I didn't think I was going to use these wipes as much as I do, but every once in a while, I'm like, fuck, I just need a tiny little bit of ISO and something to scrub it with. And I'm like, oh, I got the little wipes ready to go. Any little reclaim spot, dab pops off a nail, melt a little wax somewhere. These are really handy. So you do want to Q-tip your nail after every hit. If when you wipe your nail after the hit with a Q-tip, you're not able to get whatever is on the surface off of the surface, that means you did it too hot. You torched it too much. If something burned onto your nail surface, you got to do your dabs cooler. That's going to help you keep it cleaner. Don't torch it off. Don't burn it off. You're not going to hit it with the torch and clean it. I hear too many people say, torch it off. Keep it clean with the torch. They don't have clean nails. That's not how that works. I hope this video was helpful. I just hate seeing people with dirty glass. It's disgusting. It ruins your sesh. And you're disrespecting the fucking dabs, dude. Come get high with me tonight on Twitch. I actually got some new glass and some new rigs we're going to be unboxing at 10 p.m. Eastern. The stream starts at 9. We're going to get high for an hour and then open up some new stuff. Tune in and check that out. And if you want to see a tutorial on what I do to clean my glass every day, Check this video out. It goes over all the steps that I use for my daily cleaning. Have a lit day, my dudes.